Good evening. It's Tuesday night. It's two minutes after 7 o'clock. And it's one degree in Thief River Falls. One degree. How did it get there? How did it get to this point in the year? This is the Tuesday Night Experiment on Pioneer 90.1 FM, RadioNorthland.org. I'm your humble host, Glenn Brogan, with you. A big night tonight, if everything works out right. We got uh, a couple of radio guests uh, coming up in hour number one. Diamond Dallas Page is going to be here to talk about some YRG fitness. Find out more behind the letters YRG. And uh, around 7.15 this hour, we're going to hear from another uh, former professional wrestler, Dutch Mantel. Why Dutch Mantel? He's got a great book out. It's a follow-up to his uh, World According to Dutch uh, book came out a couple of years ago. It's ca- This one's called Tales from a Dirt Road. And it's going to be uh, some interesting road stories, interesting wrestling stories, some good behind-the-scenes insight from one of the, uh, the sports foremost raconteurs. That's coming up this hour. Next uh, hour, 8 o'clock hour, we're going to try to hopefully uh, hook up with Don Jameson from VH1 Classics, that metal show. Well, it's time to introduce the uh, Tuesday Night Experiment Band. And leading the band <laughs> is uh, the one and only Bly Dog. Yo. What's up, my friend? Just chilling, man. Just uh, had to take a little phone call off air. Uh, yeah. Talked with uh, my uh, old buddy I worked with over at KJ. Oh, some inside link, inside that uh, yeah. jive here. Yeah, yeah. We have something in common. Neither of us work there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we got this man right here tonight. And that's right. That's right. Ready to go uh, a couple days away from Thanksgiving. Big turkey day coming up. I Deviled bet- egg time. Ooh, I bet you're uh, thankful for uh, the whole Brad Childers thing going down this week. He's out the oh, door. Yeah. Get out of here. That's awesome, man. About time. The well, fans have spoken and they've listened. Well, yeah, you I mean if they keep a guy like him around, we'll be uh, cheering for the Los Angeles Vikings. <laughs> yeah. They already got the Lakers from us way back when. Jeez, they already got a stadium for a team out there now. Well, yeah. It's, settle in there, you know? It's just sitting there waiting for uh, anyone to come on out and uh, and just, you know, bring a team. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look, it, it, you know, it, it didn't look good there for a while. Jeez. You know, and the Vikings, a coach horsing around, and come on, man. It's about time uh, they got rid of uh, Mr. Childress. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Uh, you may be wondering where the third man in the band tonight, the guy who drops the heavy bass beat, Mr. Sugar Sean Slauson. Sugar Sean. Sugar Sean is coming around here in the 7 o'clock hour. He's going to be lurking around. Hopefully uh, somebody will let him in. Maybe he'll have to uh, I don't know, get his ha- take his little hairpin out of his hair and uh, <laughs> get a little, uh, little Jimmy job on that. Uh, yeah, he's going to be coming. He uh, Apparently at his other place of work... Uh, they forgot old Sugar Sean has um, a commitment or two here to uh, a certain little radio show that airs at a certain little time on a certain little station. Now he's trying to break traffic laws to get out here quick like. I know, and we do not, you know, the way the weather has been the last couple of days, the blood's on their hands, man. I know. I mean, you're supposed to drive uh, <laughs> reasonably. Yeah. I mean, jeez. None man. of this pedal to the metal and. Oh, uh, I know, I yeah. know. Stopping at a stop sign at the last minute. You no, know, no and, more uh, of that. You basically have to kind of uh, buckle up and get into your winter driving mode and be careful about it. I mean, boy, did we get dumped on yesterday. Me, it's like bumper cars. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got the uh, chance to try out my snowblower here uh, the other night, last night. Oh, that was great. Yeah, I, I had to tear out the old shovel from the garage the other day. And I was like, man, this is a hunk of junk. Ish. You know, I was like, hey, thanks to the other tenant that was at my house, you know, I was like, has you ever heard of investing in, a, like, a decent shovel? That, ah, what the whoop. I was able to shovel off some stuff, but... Uh, you can make it to your, into your place. Yeah, yeah. That's the bottom line, isn't it? I don't care about the driveway. I don't have a car, so it doesn't appeal to me. Well, look know? who's knocking on the door. I may have to have you uh, open the door oh. here, uh... Yes, indeed, we're looking here, and I can Where's see... Where's security? I don't know. He just showed up. Uh, Sugar Sean Slauson. Uh, our door's locked to the studio because, you know, you never know when a fan could come in here or a disgruntled former DJ. So, th- no, he's on the up and up. He's good. He's here. Yeah, and uh, we almost succeeded here. Sugar Sean Slauson. Well, get on the mic first. Oh, what, is it your first day learning the job or what? Pimp it up. Uh, I don't know. 
<laughs> well, yeah, talk into the mic, not talking into your pants. Oh, well, that's what I've been told I do best, though. Oh, oh boy. Well, what's up in the world of Sugar Sean's oh, Awesome. Well, you know, I actually was listening Sugar to you. Sean! I was listening to you guys, you know, just on my way here, just wondering what type of intro you're going to give me, so. Well, what, do you, <laughs> were you paranoid? <laughs> yeah, well, we I have. Was, I was just kind of wondering, you know, like. You know, are they gonna make any jokes tonight, or what? 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 They, what are we they just gonna take do? her as yeah. she goes. Yeah, uh, I mean, what are you trying to force <laughs> moments on us? Well, I don't know. I, you know, you never know where to, what to expect from the Tuesday night experiment. So. Well, yeah, that that is quite true. Uh, you know, you are aware that tonight we have some guests. Oh yes, I'm very aware. So yeah, you have to get out of the uh, the studio when we talk. Oh, I'm looking yeah, forward you gotta to sit it. <laughs> like like Thanksgiving, you gotta sit at the little kids' table this year. Oh, do I get second? <laughs> Lucky if you get first. Lucky if I get sloss. So what's so what sloss and seconds? Uh, <laughs> it's eight o'clock or seven minutes after eight or seven o'clock. I'm getting all uh, tongue tied and tied to the tongue here because I'm in the in, in in the presence of uh, Sugar Sean Sloss. Yeah, so, so get all nerved up. I know. What's the deal with that? <laughs> well, know. let's get into some uh, news here before uh, seven fifteen. We got uh, Dirty Dutch Mantel. You better be on your p's and q's. Better be minding them there, Sugar <laughs> Sean. Did you oh, get anybody catch the American Music Awards the other night? Oh uh, no, missed no. it. I know Sean looks like he's uh, he's got something to say about the American Music Awards. <laughs> Justin Bieber being the Entertainer of the Year. What he the swept heck? the awards, and oh. which reminds me, hopefully we can get this working. Yeah, Sean uh, let me borrow the CD uh, the other day. Oh great! <laughs> <laughs> I thought Little Bobby would be Entertainer of the Year by now, but I don't know. <laughs> Gee, <laughs> Pander alert! Pander Uh-oh. alert! Yes, uh, the AMA is well. It was uh, Justin Bieber's year. Wow, the people who vote at that vote for that that show for those awards, no brains. They're probably the same ones who do the Dancing with the Stars thing. Jeez, what, what do they call him by? How many friends he's got on Facebook? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, how he got started on YouTube or something? I don't know. Justin Bieber, yes, Teen Sensation swept the awards, taking on four statues, including Artist of the Year. He overthrew Eminem, which garnered the most nominations. Oh. And this oh, song is awesome. It's making oh. me feel nauseous. <laughs> Did you? And, and I was turning channels, and I caught a little bit of the show. And at the end, they had the big two boy bands collide. Oh goodness! With the new kids on the block and the Backstreet Boys, they were all on the stage. Oh my lord! Thirty-year-old <laughs> former girls were going wild, and the forty-year-old ones were losing their breath. So were you guys all dancing to it? Did you show them your moves at all? Or? Why would... Hey, I man, would, you, never, you never had to live through that craze, hey. Oh, yes, I sure. You were still oh, yeah. You were messing oh, your right. huggies, man. Oh, if you're talking <laughs> 20 years ago, then sure, but, you know... Yeah, yeah, that's what we're talking about in the yes. moment here, man. That's what it happened. All the chicks, they had, like, uh... Hey, I, I, I may have been only six years old, but I do remember the new kids on the block. Here. Oh, yeah, I mean, new kids on the block... And the Backstreet Boys doing like uh, going off, trading off on people's cassettes. songs. <laughs> so apparently they're working together. A tour coming up. Did MC Hammer See, make an appearance at all? This is more of Sugar Sean's alley here. You are Can we start singing along? Oh. Sing it, Sean. <laughs> Come on. I didn't know we were supposed to do karaoke. Yeah. Since when did this become a bubblegum show? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. know. We you just have bubble to. Gum, by the way? I'm just kidding. Uh, bubblegum. <laughs> <laughs> I like tried it, maybe. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> hey guys, you know sunflower seeds. Yeah, anything. I, I just tried. I watched a little bit of it because we we're. I finished something up on the DVR, and that was the. the you know, the, it was on ABC. <laughs> oh yeah. And I'm like, what the heck is this crap? Yeah, and I saw these people. They were doing. They were doing one new kids on the block song. Then they were doing a Backstreet Boys song. Back and forth, left and right. It, they were so off. The, the dancing was terrible. I think the three of us can get together and have the the next great dance troupe. Oh, of course. I think we can we can pull it off, huh? <laughs> pull oh. it off. Sean's laughing, but I think he's guilty of having a boy band and aspirations Gosh. in his time. Well, We're doing a rock out, hey. hey. How about we do it right now? How about we do it right now? We got That'd a new social quick. distortion track here for you. Big B. Social distortion, yes. Uh, their new stuff here on the Tuesday Night Experiment. And it's time now. Uh, we have a guest... Uh, we have a guest here on the telephone right now, and I was telling you about him. He he put out a great book a few years back called The World According to Dutch, uh, former professional wrestler Dutch Mantel. A great book his first time around. He has come back with a sequel because a lot of people wanted to hear the, read this sequel. They wanted to read more. After Like I did, I read this book, and I wanted more, and he's here to tell us about this new book coming out in the month of December.